is Koku Boss 11 and welcome back to Minecraft. Now, uh, it has been a while, quite a while, about two, two or three weeks since the, uh, since the last video. There was this random test video where I tried to, um, I tried editing, like cutting and adding music to stuff. And I thought it was kind of cool. I'll probably only do that for a select few videos, though, since I realized it trimmed off the, uh, the bottom corner of the screen, or the bottom, it just kind of cropped the entire image a little bit, if you may have noticed. But um, I thought that this episode, instead of just staying home and staying at the house, the newly built house, and doing nothing, uh, we would go exploring in a cave. And this is the cave that I commented on when we first when uh when we first got to this area and uh I did some digging and I got a lot of got some coal but then I realized it really didn't lead to anywhere and then I went over here and I saw this oh and by the way it, there's a lot of plains area oh my gosh another bunny I wonder if that's the same one but uh yeah there's like so much uh just everything over there but I saw this and I thought this would be a really really cool area to uh, begin exploring in so great no oh my gosh at, at, like I said I did some mining but I, I, uh, I need to make a pickaxe before we go on this expedition I'm normally um I like adventuring more in Minecraft but um I just never really oh, should have been I just never really um, feel like I should need to, you know, because I don't, I'm, I don't really adventure too much. But whenever I do, it's really fun. It's, that should be like um, one of the most interesting man in the world memes. I have food. I have a fair amount of food actually. I should check to make sure there's nothing that I could be missing. Um, I could cook some clay while I'm gone. Alright, looks good. Um, yeah, seems good for now. I'll be, I'll probably have to, uh, mine a couple of bricks here and there. But, um, for the time being, I'll, I guess I'll just make a, uh, oh gosh. Crafting table uh, for emergency reasons, of course. You should always bring a crafting table with you. But anyway, um, it has been a while. Yes, indeed. I already said that uh, since the last video. But I'm going to try to make videos more frequently, you know? I don't know... Um, what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna say it right now. What do you guys, my subscribers, right now we have 31. Whoop whoop. I didn't, I honestly, honestly didn't think um, out of 31. Actually, some of them are my friends, so it doesn't really count to 31. But you, you know what I mean. But anyway, I just wanted to know what do you guys want to see uh, on the channel? Do you want me to like do you want to suggest some games? Do you want me to try something completely different? Like, what do you what do you want to see? I just want to know, because I honestly I don't think I can play Minecraft for the entire channel. I'm gonna hopefully if you guys haven't already checked this out, I'll I'll probably well I will leave a link in the description. But, um, Scott Games, uh, Scott Cawthon, the guy who made, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, on his website, he, um, he made, hold on, let me take care of this spider really quickly, uh, okay, he made, uh, or he released a teaser picture for, uh, the next Five Nights at Freddy's game, which is going to be coming out, according to the poster, um, ooh, uh, October 31st, which is, uh, December, uh, oh my gosh, Halloween, sorry, um, but I am, I'm really excited about it. My only problem 
with uh, all the Five Nights at Freddy's games in as a whole is that they're called Five Nights at Freddy's and you you see less and less or you Freddy makes less and less of an impact in every uh, entry to the series. So like in the first game, I'm I'm going to just go rambling on cuz I don't know what else to talk about. But um in the first game Freddy is, like, the main guy. You're at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And he is, um, he doesn't come out until, like, the third night, or third or fourth night. But whenever he does, you, you're like, oh my gosh, it's freaking Freddy. What the heck do I do now? Um, but then in the second one, there's, like, oh, and also in the first one, there's Golden Freddy, and that freaks you out. Um, and it was the first game in the series, so, and no one had seen anything like it before. So that's what made it really impactful. But um, in the uh, in the second game, in the first game you had two Freddies. In the second game you have hold on, there's you have the toy Freddy, the original one, the original Freddy, Golden Freddy, and Shadow Freddy. You have four Freddies, plus like the Freddy mask. So he makes a lot less of an impact. Like whenever you see um one of them down the hallway, you're just like, oh, big deal. Just another Freddy that I need to put my mask on for. It's, it doesn't make as much of an impact. Um, and then the third one, he's just a figment of your imagination. Like, it says at the very end, it says Phantom Freddy. And I, I, don't, I don't really, I don't know what Scott's going to do for the, uh, for the fourth Five Nights at Freddy's. Because the new animatronic looks a lot like Freddy. But he's like, apparently, I saw this video, I'll probably, I may leave a link to that as well, but someone brightened up the, uh, the, the picture on the website, and it created, um, well, it formed the words at the bottom, uh, Nightmare, which is essentially, I guess, the name of the new animatronic, I'm guessing. Hey, a bat. Um... But I don't know. I mean, he has a bunch of Freddy dolls on his chest. And uh, that's kind of cool. I, I guess. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments. Like, what do you think? Do you think it's going to be more impactful? I mean, for sure. The um, the third game didn't really scare me as much. I don't know if I'm, I've just become used to the... Oh, dang it. I don't know if I've become used to the fact that it's Five Nights at Freddy's. Like, I kind of know what to expect. Um, first, sure, it scares you the first couple times, but you get over it, obviously. And especially in the third game, they're not, they're not that scary, because normally jump scares kill you. Um, but they just kind of hinder you in the, in, the, in the third game. But I don't know, the fourth, the picture on the website, really, um, it looks really scary. Like, I don't know, he looks a lot more scary than Springtrap, but I don't know, it, it says it's the final chapter or something like that, whatever they, whatever he put on the picture, but, um, whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna contribute to the story incredibly, and that's what I'm looking forward to, because I, ooh, oh, oh my gosh, how did you not? blow up in my face what how does that work that would have like he would have owned me why didn't he anyway you know what I'm talking too much about Five Nights at Freddy's and not about uh, Minecraft which is the game I'm playing um, I'll probably make a separate video entirely about that where I just rant about something related to Five Nights at Freddy's if you also, also, if you want me to, um, play, uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 when it comes out, I am, I am honestly, I've only really played the first game, but I know, I've, I've also played the third game on, like, my friend's phone, I've only played the iOS versions, noobly me, but I'm, I really want to play the fourth one, like, I, I would not mind making a video series all about the fourth Five Nights at Freddy's. So if you want me to do something like that, also put that in the comments. 
uh, something like that. Just tell me, again, tell me what you want to see. Because I, I don't know what you guys want to see. Dead end. Well, I've spent 10 minutes talking about a game not even relating to the game that I'm playing. So, so that's good, I think. Hey, there it is. <coughs> uh, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, this was the lava. Ooh, could I, um, I could make a bucket and take this lava. Where is that zombie? I don't, I don't like it. He shouldn't be anywhere close. Well, he should be. I just don't know where he is. Um, all right. I'm going to go a little bit deeper. Then we'll see what happens. Also, what did you guys think if you haven't if you have seen it? Uh, what did you guys think of The Avengers, The Age of Ultron? I saw it yesterday and I thought it was really good. Like it's probably my favorite Marvel movie now. Oh, great, did it? Like it w Guardians of the Galaxy was my favorite movie uh for the past while. And now Age of Ultron comes out, and I'm really excited, um, especially the end. Uh, everyone who knows what I'm talking about, you, you know what I'm talking about. Because it's free. I'm not going to spoil anything. I'm just going to say, prepare to get your mind blown throughout, throughout the entire movie. It's a good movie. You're going to like it. You better like it. Um, I don't know what's going on in this cave. Oh my gosh, it goes so much deeper. That's what she said. Oh, grab! What the? Grass? Grass, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just chilling. Grass. Grass, why you do this, grass? Near the grass, Tyson. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna stop there. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of iron, though. Seems the caves are the best freaking place to find iron. Caves, all for all your iron needs. There's just so much. We're having clearance sale. Where everything is free if you have a pickaxe. Um. Alright. Oh! Another dead end. I hate it when caves do that. I don't. I hate it when they. I also hate it when they go on forever. It's kind of a love hate relationship. I don't know. Seriously, where is that zombie? Is he up here somewhere? He must be. I mean, it's insane. Unless there's a, um... Ooh, there may be a spawner. <gasps> there is! No way! Dang, that's a lot of noises, though. I'm gonna get this iron quickly. Does this place lead anywhere? No, it doesn't. Alright. I'm going to tackle this dungeon. Um... After I get all this iron. I may just do it in the next episode. Oh my gosh, they are loud. Hopefully you can hear my voice over them. <laughs> oh, dang. Alright, okay, I have more than a stack now. Oh, I know the best system of trying to kill these guys. Hey! How's it going, friends? There we go. Woo! Everybody die! That worked very well. Whoa, bud. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I hope I really hope I get a um a whatchamacallit. A saddle, maybe. Nope, just more buckets. Well at least I can um I got redstone. At least I can get um whatever you call that stuff. Oh, cake. Yeah, of course. I could get this, um, Monty Cobblestone, too. Um, anyway, guys, that'll do it for this episode. Sorry if I didn't, if it wasn't too interesting. But again, I stress the fact. Oh, gosh, dang it. Um, tell me what you want. Tell me what you want to see. I'm completely up to anything. As long as, like, it does, it's not, it's within my, um, as long as it's within my payment range. I don't know. Um, but I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you liked what you see, subscribe for more of this weird stuff that I do. And until then, I will see you 
in the next video.